let's take a look at case types. Now, case type is your basic structure or outline of the investigations you may do. So let's take a look at creating a new one. If I click on the settings tab and look under the cases section, I'll see the case types. I don't have anything right now, but I can create a new one by selecting a new case type. And there we go. I'm gonna just create a worker's uh, compensation uh, case type. And I'll add uh, the, the two character tag, which is useful to identify the case case, case type and uh, in instances in the system where the case type might be abbreviated. I can add a description, and this is going to appear on the list of case types. And then I can look at the reference labels. Now reference labels are very useful uh, because this is a good place to capture claim numbers or SIU numbers, uh, information that the client might give you as another means to track the case. Now, something else to notice is you have the option to add these reference labels and these the values from these labels that you add uh, to the cases to your invoice. These might be items that the client requests that uh, that you add to the invoice so they can process uh, process payment for you uh, when you when you close the case and submit the invoice. So if you check the boxes, this is copy to invoice. The option for uh, for these reference fields and their values will appear on your invoice. My case flags are useful indicators that allows the people working the case to know that they should be aware of, of something uh, in particular on, on, this, on this investigation. So we have items like rush, suspected fraud, surveillance wear, aggressive. All these items are customizable. You could add new ones. You can adjust any of the ones you already have in your system. Case services are the actual actions that you take on the case and this allows you to, to begin to organize the, the work that you're going to be doing on the case by these categories. Again, these are customizable and you can add or remove new ones or adjust as, as needed. Now subject types are the, the people or places that you may be investigating uh, during the course of your investigation. Uh, in this situation, I just have the claimant subject type for my workers' compensation cases, but if I needed to add other subjects for the investigation with information that was not captured under this particular subject type, I could consider adding other subject types. Make sure that you select a default type, as this will be the primary subject of the investigation. Document templates uh, is a great way to generate your custom letters, forms, and final reports in track ops. Task templates allow you to auto-generate a task to be performed for this type of case every time it's created. And case reviews are a good way to review the performance um, of a particular employee or to capture certain pieces of information on a standardized basis. And finally, you can add custom fields to your case types. This will allow you to take in the information that's relevant to this, this type of investigation. And you do so by adding a new line for existing custom fields that you've created or clicking add new field if there's a field that's not yet in existence that you would like to add to your system. We do have more information on how to create a new custom field on our support site and a video. For now, I'm all set with this particular case type. I'm going to save the case type now when I create a new case. The case type I just created is now available under the selectable case types. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, do be sure to send us a ticket, support at trackops.com. We'll talk to you again next time. Thank you for using TrackOps.